Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Last time, well, we meant to go and rescue that detective, but then we ran into the Massachusetts State House, and I got a little bit distracted, and possibly I got a little bit, uh, you know, overconfident in my abilities because we ran into several legendaries and a Myler Queen, and I just had to run away from the Myler Queen, crying like a little girl because the Myler Queen was very, very tough. But we took out our first few legendary enemies. We actually killed three legendaries last part. Two of them were just raiders who didn't seem to be that tough at all and oh hello what is that just a swan that was marked as dangerous what okay i think i said at the end of last part there's not going to be much in the 40 meters between me and nick valentine that's going to distract me i've been proved wrong it doesn't look much like a swan it looks like what well, is like a dead swan floating on something what is that the game is also saying, don't attack this, you mad bastard, skull face, neutral, extremely tough. I kind of want to give it a go now. Right. Line up the shot. Take it. Did that not do anything? Wait, what is, what is the swan? Which bit's the swan? A really... What am I even looking at right now? Oh! That's a super mutant. Is it coming for me? Oh, that's coming for me. Um, I'm not sure I'm doing much to it. Uh-oh. What the heck is this? Uh-oh. Oh, it's throwing things at me. Um, dog meat. Bring it down, boy. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it down. Oh, flip, 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 flip. Um, oh, it's trying to protect itself. And where's its head? Is its head vulnerable? A little bit. Oh, oh, I think I just... Actually, we're doing okay. We're actually winning, sort of. Um, This new combat shotgun is pretty damn powerful. So, a double stim pack to get myself back up to health. Oh, it's running. It's running. Oh, that's... It's... Um, oh, oh! No! Take the... Sh shots. Oh, we've... Oh, we've killed it. We've killed the swan. Screw you. You don't have a head anymore. Ha. So it was an old swan boat. A swan boat that a super mutant converted into a bit of his armor. Right. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Fusion cells. Flares. Um, swan boat fragments. All right, a uh, desk fan and then like a uh, furious power fist. What is this going to do? Um, it is going to... Oh, it's a power fist, but someone's just added a bit of rebar to the end of it. Increased damage with each consecutive hit on the same target. All right, damage 42. Well, I don't actually have a melee weapon at the moment, but if I ever need one, that's probably a good thing to have, right? Yeah, that seems like an excellent thing to have. And that swan boat fragment is an excellent source of fiberglass as well. Lovely. Right, well, with that rather interesting mystery sorted out there, which I think we handled pretty darn well, all things considered, may as well, uh, yeah, I've discovered Swan's Pond, uh, which, well, yeah, there was, uh, not much in the way of an actual swan there. And there's, uh, what's that over there? That's, that's nothing. Dog meat found something. Well done. Bring it over here, boy. I'm not, I'm not coming after it. Um, uh, are you going to make me go into the radio? Fine. And rads, 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 rads. What do you... Oh, flip. What do you think is so darn important? I need to come over here, dog meat. It's a swan... Oh, 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 oh. Flip, 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 flip. Dog. Dog, why would you do this to me? This was just a... Oh, the dog just flipping conned me. Dog. Grab that. Go get that aluminium canister, because I ain't going over there, all right? You appear to be... The dog is mysteriously, like, radiation proof. So if there's something over there that I want, then he's getting it, all right? And what have you brought me this time, boy? You've brought me Medax. All right, brought me drugs. Good boy. Who's a good boy? It's you. Now, let's head on, shall we? Uh, I need to... Ooh, are you friendly? No, you're a tour bot. You're a tour bot. You're definitely not a problem. Now, in here. Ah, this will be... Follow the freedom trail. I didn't mean to follow the freedom trail. How have I followed the freedom trail? Apparently, I followed the Freedom Trail. I don't even know how. Welcome, Patriot, to Boston Common. The start of the Freedom Trail.
Oh, this robot, if I give him the keyword, is going to lead me to the secret entrance. Right, I see how that worked. Okay, Nick Valentine, all right? We're, we're rescuing damn Nick Valentine. Not delaying this any further. I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision I've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. We caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. Well, good to know the guy we're after is still alive. Now, who are these guys? Oh. Got Triggerman over there. Oh. Right. Got a good shot at his arm. Goes down to three hits. Oh, oh, someone can shoot through the damn... Oh, flip. Um, this is bad. Right. And... Actually, these guys seem to be going down pretty fast, to be honest. Uh, right, hang on. This is more fire than I would like to be under. Uh, let's pop a stim pack, get in there with a combat shotgun. The thing is, they've got nice suits, which means they haven't got nice armor. One headshot for you. Uh, being in VAT seems to basically like be like a free, a free kind of reload. You can just reload in VAT seemingly without kind of doing much, which is kind of nice. There we are. Uh, yes, we've got all these nice guys in suits, suits and uh, nice guns, but unfortunately means for them that they have got terrible, terrible damage resistance. And also, not great guns. They're using... Ooh, submachine gun, though. That might be nice. I might have a Luxia there. I don't think I've... I've had one of them before, but I didn't like, like the look of it, and I wasn't looking for a submachine gun at the time, so I just kind of got rid of it for the moment. But I might kind of try that out again later, maybe when I've got more space to mod. I'm just, like, desperately short of crafting resources half the time. I'm trying to, like... I'm currently rebuilding my settlements in terms of, like, how it produces materials to produce adhesive, because you can um, combine corn, mutt fruit, and the... Um, and the potatoes together with some purified water to make uh, vegetable starch, which basically is worth a ton of adhesive. I'm currently kind of respecking all of my uh, all of my areas just to produce those materials as a result. But you know, even then, I'm a bit low on materials. Anyway, let's crack open this door here. It might be a secret. Now, what have we got in here that's good? Uh, multiple bottle caps. Oh, but more importantly, duct tape. The best of all things is duct. Wonder glue as well. Oh, it's all the adhesive. I love adhesive. I love adhesive so much. Oh, but as I've apparently forgot to do it again, am I flipping? Oh, wait, hang on. That was a TV tray. TV dinner tray. That's worth three aluminium, and aluminium is really valuable for some of the, like, the level two crafting perks especially. Gun nut two, there's a lot of aluminium that's needed all of a sudden, so that's brilliant news. Now, apparently I can level up. You know, I'm actually kind of tempted by Gunslinger. I have been enjoying using a pistol, but am I really ever going to want a pistol to do that much damage? I don't know. Or I could finally get around to taking bloody mess. Actually, you know what I do want to do? I want to take an extra point of agility because next level I want to have ninja available to me. So I'm going to increase agility training. Yep, so I've now got an extra point of agility. So that's worth an extra, I think it's, is it 10 or 20? No, an extra 10 action points immediately. And next turn I will have ninja available to me. And ninja, yeah, for increased uh, sneak attack criticals. That's worth it. So I'm glad that is what's going to happen there. Now, next up, we are going down into a vault. Apparently an unfinished vault a loading screen told me. It said that this vault on a loading screen was uh, not quite finished. So it's not going to be like the traditional vault that we're uh, familiar with. But we shall see. These triggermen don't seem to be that tough. So if we're lucky, we might just be able to use our standard 10mm on them, given that's ooh, triggerman. Yeah, I feel like that's... That's, uh, ooh, got to give good, 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 good shot. Got a good headshot? No, we've not got a good headshot there. 43% of left arm, 36. I feel like I should have a better chance than what I've got there. You've got to be almost dead. The triggermen are coming in now. They're almost dead. The dog can do a little bit of damage to finish them off. Uh, you are 73% chance to hit. Ooh, legendary triggerman. All right, don't be a little careful here. We've got more flipping legendaries showing up. Uh, now, what are we going to do here? All right, done a bit of damage to you. Just got to snipe off the ones who are over over here. You're a 60% chance to hit for some reason. Oh, yeah, that was good. Now, what else have we got here? That's the legendary. 
We can take a couple of shots at him. In fact, I'm going to take the critical at him. Though he just comes back to life a second time mysteriously, which just seems to happen quite a lot with these guys. Right, now back off to the top of the stairs. And let him come to me. And I'll just use a shotgun if I can. No, he's hanging out at the bottom of the stairs. I'm not sure he's going to come down. But that's fine, because now I've got a plan. I am flipping sitting on Molotov, so... Good luck, guys! That's right! Everybody gets a Molotov! Lovely, you're all going to die to the fire, I would say. And... Another one going in. There we are, dog meat comes up and comes back out. At least one of them died to that. Beautiful. Flames has got them a little bit confused. Triggerman over there. Right. Take you out. Dead. Oh, you've got like a little Tommy gun. I guess that's the submachine gun, how it looks. I like the fact it looks like a Tommy gun. That's very cool. Now, you're the legendary Triggerman. Right, take out the one who's not legendary first. Make sure he's got zero fire support. And then you're the legendary one. Got loads of shots at you. Dead. And, oh, you are legendary because you mutated into a ghoul. You weren't a ghoul in the first place, were you? Did you just turn into a ghoul? That was your defense. You mutated into a monstrosity that's prejudiced against and that many people just, you know, kill by default. What the heck is that clicky noise? That turret around here somewhere. Well, we got a normal triggerman right here. But three shots with righteous authority takes care of him. No, the clicking has mysteriously stopped for whatever reason. Now, where was the legendary? We've got to go and loot all these guys. So here's the legendary one. Berserker's Tire Iron. Uh, I get the feeling that's not exactly what I want at all. Uh, does more damage the lower your armor resistance. And only does 16 damage base. That's dreadful. But I, just, I don't want to leave it behind because it sounds like it's actually useful. Tactical armor piercing machine gun. Yeah, I'll take that. That could be a good basis if I decide to build my own submachine gun. That could be a good starting point. But uh, yeah, all right. The legendary guy was actually did not have that much useful on him at all. All right. That's the main station cleared out then and fully looted as well. It seems like we're just heading further down, further down the train tracks. I'm guessing there's going to be another bunch of these trigger men yet. You can use the brackets at the top, by the way, because the brackets at the top, if you're really hidden, they're really far away. If they're really close to hidden, that means you're almost at caution. So because they're currently really far away and only triggering a bit, that normally means there's not anyone nearby that's very likely going to hear you imminently. What is going to happen is, like, there's some people pretty far away. Yes, and there, in fact, is one over there. Now, the question is... How am I going to get a shot at first here? Oh, that's at least one of them dead there. And we're only in caution. Beautiful. That's just the dog. No. The dog just decides whenever I kind of take a sniper shot that what I'm obviously going to be wanting to do is just kind of charge straight in at that point. No. No, that's not the plan at all. Right. The dog, he's going for him. Uh, yeah, we'll take the 50% the chance. That normally means... Oh, the head pops off like a squeezed zit. Lovely. Uh, right. Now. Who else is here? Dog! Don't, don't go bananas. And... Gonna have a good shot at the head again. Yeah. Ooh, you're a ghoul one. So this this gang at least does not discriminate against ghouls. Which is nice. I like them better already. I don't like them because they're kind of... Well, one, they're shooting me on sight. And two, they that guy just sort of glitched out a little bit. But other than that, I like them. I'm also getting a ton of this 45 ammo. So I should probably consider, like, using some of this. Because it feels like... Could be useful uh, as a, a good big source of ammo. This might I might have to start using like the submachine gun as my secondary weapon. I've got that special one I picked up uh, set as a backup, uh, so I can actually kind of get to it in my favourites nice and easy. Now I can activate this with my Pip Boy. I was saying this in Fallout 3. You only live once this last week. I like the fact that now you need to plug in a Pip Boy for access because it makes a lot more sense. You've got to prove you've got authorization in order to access a vault. You can't just like you know, wander into a vault by pulling a lever like you did in Fallout 3. This makes a lot more sense. The dog is just... The dog is so keen to get into this vault. The question is, why is there no one waiting for me? Uh-oh. There's someone behind that pillar. Oh! And you are gonna not have a... 
Ooh, you're a bit tougher, aren't ya? There we go, dog got him. Is he the only one on the door? Oh, we got a bit of a headshot going. Yeah, this guy's a fair whack tougher. You are going to get multiple headshots. 84% chance to hit. And, uh, yep, that's a guaranteed hit because it went into the little animation, which always means in Fallout that means that did actually hit. Good. Got that. Bottle caps. Ooh, mahogany baseball bat. All right, fine. I'll take one of those. It sounds nice. Now, the big question is, even though this was an unfinished vault, that doesn't mean there was never a plan for it. On the contrary, all vault take vaults had a plan for them. So the question then is, what? even though this one was never done, what was it going to be before it wasn't finished? Let's see if the terminals can provide any answers here. Ah, private science staff only. As mentioned in your briefing, Vault 114 will be hosting high-ranking members of the local and state government, local luminaries, business people, and their families. Future members are aware that they will be cohabiting solely with others of Boston's upper class. However, the luxury aspect of this vault has been highly exaggerated to the future residents. Multiple families chosen randomly will live and sleep in single-room apartments, dining and bathing will be in shared quarters, and amenities will be minimal. In addition, we're currently interviewing for the overseer position for many candidates. Our goal is to find someone with no supervisory or government experience and hopefully with a strong anti-authority bias. Human Resources tells us that the interview process has vetted many viable candidates. By taking away the luxury and authority those groups saw in surface life, we hope to study their reactions in stressful situations. As such, please do not undermine the new overseer's authority at all during the experiment, even and especially if it may cause physical discomfort, embarrassment or harm to residents. Oh, all right. Well, now we know what the experiment was going to be, but it never got off the ground. Interestingly, whether that's just because time ran out and they couldn't build it or if someone in the government found out about it and shut that stuff down. So that's locked, but I need a key to get in. Fine, we'll need to find ourselves a key somewhere. All right, one of them's almost dead. Dog, go! Go, dog, go! This one's your boss. Yep, there we go. Uh, you're going to go down to a couple of hits. And the dog's presumably going to go for the other one. Dog, take, bite the other one. Bite the other one, dog. Dog! Dog! I feel like you've failing at your one job here. Your one job is to grab these guys and kind of, you know, drag them down. <sighs> dear, oh dear, dog. Come on. You can do better than that. Alright, I need to be a little less careless with these guys. They can actually do a fair amount of damage. Not a huge amount, but they can certainly do some damage. I'm also really liking the fact that now the little kind of the go-to-place icon doesn't just tell you, like, where on the map he is. It, like, just shows you, like, the nearest location you have to go to, which kind of is good because it means you don't know how big the area is going to be. Yeah, shot at him. Come on. We need to be able to get a shot of that guy. <laughs> Dumb. Beautiful. That is nice. Now, dog, don't go nuts. Dead. Lovely. The dog is just standing in the middle of the spotlight, enjoying the flipping attention. Right, now should have a pretty good... Look at that! 95% chance to hit at that range. And my, my perception is not that good. That feels really damn high to me. Now, how many are left? Just... Uh, there's still three out there, but only one of them's actually coming for me. Um, actually, how is that one damaged? Did I not kill the one I sniped at? I could have sworn I did. Dog, all yours. There we go. Take that 95% shot. Dead. Right now. You. Get ready to go. Over there. Go on. Go, boy. You got this. I believe in you. Let's just quickly go over to the... Oh, let's go over to this thing, by the way. Let's go over to right to authority. Ah! Yes, hello. You're just, dist you're just distracted by the dog, aren't you? That is unfortunate for you because I'm about to blast you in the face with righteous authority. Which is both a description of the weapon and... But also sounds badass in general. Which is good. Now, behind you. Yep, you're going to be dead in a second. Oh, oh, yeah, single hit, in fact. Lovely. And luckily, I don't really need to dip into my stim packs much at the moment because I can use the, um, 
I can use all those uh, meat that I cooked and got from all the Myolurks last part, which is very convenient. So I'm, yeah, not really having to touch my stim packs at the minute. Ooh, free money. Always like some free money. Uh, the game suggests I need to drop down, which is a little bit... I'm a little bit cautious about, but all right. If I have to, I guess I'll have to find the... I guess I'm coming out the other way when I'm done. No one in here. All right, good, good. Bobby pin box. Ah, you see, this was all worth it already. Question is, could the dog... Is, is the dog following me? Dog? Uh-oh. When I told the dog to go, does that mean he went to that point and then stayed until such time as uh, I, I collect him? I suspect I may have just put the dog into a stay state. All right, fine. We're doing this without the dog, apparently. Well, that's a load zone there, so if the dog can catch up, he'll catch up here. Oh, yes, the dog is here. Hey. Are you actually fine? Yeah, you're fine. All right, good. You're actually with me. I think you just couldn't get down the hole, but they um, put that load zone there to allow the dog an opportunity to catch up, which is convenient. Ooh, the main vault. Ooh, dino. Wait, dino's not hostile. Who else is in here? He's not marked as red, so I probably shouldn't murder him. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Snack. Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you've got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. But I never... Oh, no. I, I, I gotta smooth this over fast. Oh, nope. Should have taken that shot when I had the chance. Dog. Go. Go, go, go. Dog. Dog. Come on, dog. Go get him. Go get him, boy. There we are. He's nice and pinned down. Now we can go for those headshots. Nice and easy. And down he goes. Not much of a hassle there. Should have just taken the shot when I had the chance. I was just a bit confused because he, you know, was green rather than red when I focused over him. Ah, and oh, all the duct tape. I'm going to do so much crafting at the end of this episode. You have no idea. I'm going to be honest. This area feels a bit big for that one guy. This area feels massive, in fact, yet there's only one person in it. Uh, I feel like I'm going to get attacked on the way back out, too, with a much larger scale battle. My gaming instincts tell me this. And due credit to Bethesda, they said the Vault Experiment was about putting luxurious people into kind of crappy scenarios, and uh, they have indeed done it. Toilets with just like a single curtain, so just kind of uh, hang in front of them. Shared showers, again, with just like a simple curtain, but no actual private bathrooms, all the shared amenities. So exactly what they said in the uh, in all of the things. Oh, they've actually done a, yeah, they've done a really good job actually bothering to like animate what they said was going to be in this vault. It's really cool. Oh, and I've hit the mother load in this back room here. Got a flipping microscope. What's in one of them? Gears, glass, crystal, and fiber optics. Magnificent. Still, enough of that. Let's just, when I say enough of that, more duct tape. There's there's never enough duct tape in the world. Everything is all about just gathering adhesive. I never have enough adhesive. Hey, you. I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. Get this door open. Actually, I've got the Overseer uh, password, so I don't even need to hack it at all. Got the password off his corpse. Right, so, uh, take number? What does that even mean? Your number is 998. Please wait till your number is called. Oh, <laughs> excellent. There was a little numbering system. That's Oh, and if you keep taking numbers, the queue for the Overseer is full for the year. Oh, that's adorable. Right, let's just crack open the door, eh? Hello, you must be Nick Valentine. Uh, I will get you in a second, but no, hang on. No, I'm going to ignore you for a minute. All vendors permanently have a hundred more caps for bartering. That's a bit of an odd speech thing, but... All right, fine. Just quickly. I will get to you in a second, my good man. I just need to finish looting this room first. What is that? Is that a... Oh, wait, surgical tray. Yes, three times aluminium. That's the best thing. That's so much better than anything else I'm going to find here. That's beautiful. And, ooh, a Vault 114 interview number 87. Now, we heard about these. This is the interview for the role of Overseer, where it was deliberately supposed to be anti-authority people with no leadership skills or experience. Let's have a listen to what it is. Mr. Um, Subke, would you mind telling me why you're distrustful of the government? I've seen what they do. 
Come up the works with red tape and bureaucracy? Take every hard-earned cent and use it to fund their Illuminati, Freemason sex parties? I'm a free man. I should be able to live as I see fit. My taxes? Pay for them streets and alleys and dumpsters. I'll sleep where I want. Sir, according to this, you haven't paid taxes in many years. I seen the back of them Abraxo boxes. Not for consumption? Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. Sir, you may just be the perfect candidate. How would you like to be the new overseer for Vault 114? I ain't wearing no goddamn tie. Or pants. I like Soup Can Harry. Now, let's see what Nick Valentine has to say for himself. Oh, wait, hang on. You, sir, are a synth and not a particularly convincing replicant. How exactly were you able to live in Diamond City without everyone flipping murdering you? They hate and are incredibly distrustful of synths. How on earth did you get away with this? Hey, Valentine. You gonna talk? Why'd you risk everything to find me? Just a private eye. And what exactly are you? What are you? Told you, I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. Well, I have to find Sean. My baby's missing. His name's Sean. He was kidnapped, but I don't know who took him or where they went. Mr. Or Kidd. when he was taken. Well, you came to the right man, if not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Oh, I feel like we're having to fight our way out of here. Malone's crew here used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. So they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. An empty vault. Perfect hideout. There they are. How do you want to play this? Uh, snipey, stealthy, murdery, typically. I'll take that shot. There we are. Got one down there. And a secondary. You, how good are you with a gun? Let's see how good he can do on his own. Spectacular. There we are. Take a couple of shots from you. That should be enough to finish you off. Oh, you've got a nice little modded 10mm there. Recognise that. Go on. In you go. In you go. In you. In you. Go. Come on. Go in there. Look, just go and deal with it, alright? Oh, for goodness sake. Right. Shot five times in the back. What's his response? Oh, I think I'll get out my baseball bat. Wait, where the hell are you? Come on, hurry up. I need you to get involved in this fight. Oh, my dog's decided to get involved. Right. There we are. Another one goes down. I like the physics of it. Everyone kind of falls over like they've really been hit by something damn hard. When they get shot, you feel like they've actually been shot. Though I need to change weapon, by the way, because I'm running a bit low on that ammo. Got plenty of this, though. Right. Nick Valentine can deal with most of this on his own, I'm guessing. Oh, but apparently he just got flipping baseball battered back into this room. Right, in you go, Nick. Go, go. Forward, forward, forward. There we are. Take the shot. Take the shot. Take the shot. He's right there. Take the shot, Nick. Nick, you're useless at this. Right, well, the, the dog's decided to get involved. Oh, hello. And now he's going for the dog. Shoot him in the back. Lovely. Thank you, dog. Someone actually put a lot of thought into this vault. So, you know, we saw the showers. We've seen the toilets. There's the nursery up here for babies. We've seen sleeping quarters. There's everything. Someone's actually put a lot of thought into this. It's lovely. This is something I think, like, Fallout 3 was never desperately good at, but Fallout New Vegas was a bit better at. Like, Vault 3. You could go through Vault 3 in New Vegas and find pretty much everything you'd expect to find in order to make it, like, a decent... <gasps> a tuxedo. Why, yes. Yes, I will be taking the tuxedo, I believe. All right, we'll check out that tuxedo later, but I'm incredibly excited to have a proper tuxedo instead of that crappy little dirty black suit. That's much better. 
big pile of Vault 114 jumpsuits. That's nice if you happen to want. I'm not sure why you would. Like, are they any different to the Vault 111 jumpsuits I've got? Because I've got one of them. No, they're completely identical. I guess it's like if you decided you did want your Vault 111 jumpsuit after all, but you kind of left it behind, it's fine. Now, uh, so this is apparently like the big end game. Oh, he decided to go through by himself. Well, that's fine. He is more than welcome to. You come into my house, shoot up my guys? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy, shall I? Should have left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. And remember the quarry, that's what Mama Murphy said, the woman and the fat man. I've put on all my fancy gear, the formal hat, the nice glasses, so I should have an excellent chance of passing this. Remember the quarry, that's what I was told to say by Mama Murphy. Let's see if her powers do stack up. Wait. Skinny, remember the quarry, Lily June on the rocks. Ring any bells? How the hell did you know about that? Okay, you two can go. You got until the count of ten. Then I don't care what happened back in the old days. You're dead. What are you doing, Skinny? Kill him! No, Dollar. They get one chance to leave. Skinny Malone's putting his foot down. My mother was right. You mobsters are all just talk. Better get out of here fast. Uh-oh. Uh, dog, I'm gonna need you to take some stuff off me right now. Dog! Dog, I'm I'm over capacity. I can't run. Where's the dog? Dog, dog. Hey, six. Dog, give me. Some... <laughs> I can't run out of the vault because I'm carrying too much stuff. Um, oh flip, it's because I've I've lost a plus one strength because I don't have the right equipment on. Um, right, what do I need to get rid of? Right, time to get out of here in a hurry. In a flipping hurry. <laughs> Oh, uh, flip. Are we are we away in time or are we actually under fire now? Because I took t I think I took a bit too long. Is the did the dog fall behind by any flipping jabs? Oh uh, well, <laughs> never mind. Let's get out of here, eh? Ah, look at that Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. And uh, actually, it was Ellie. Ellie told me about you. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did. I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. All right, fair enough. I guess I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Unlikely Valentine completed. Ooh, just shy of the next level. Uh, I gotta... Ooh. What's casting that green light, then? Oh, glowing fungus. I do forget glowing fungus is the thing. All right, and there we are. Started getting a clue. Apparently next we have to go and pick up at Valentine's Agency itself. And we will do that very soon. But first, I'm carrying a load of scrap, so I need to head back to Sanctuary to clear it out. Now, let's just transfer all junk into here. Lovely. And next, dog, give me all the weapons that you want. Dog, dog, no dog, dog, dog. Dog, just give me all the weapons you're holding, all right? So I want to make my exterminator's 10mm pistol my main weapon. In order to do that, I'm going to have to take things off this one. So, for example, the compensated powerful 10mm, my current favourite. Basically, what that has is that has a powerful receiver on it. So all I need to do is uh, find a receiver I've already got. I don't have one off the top of my head, but that's fine. I can just build a quick standard receiver here. So build a standard receiver, fine. Uh, I've got all the materials I need for that. So that's I've got a standard receiver on it. Go over to the exterminator's. Go over to the receiver, and now when I get down to powerful, you'll see rather than saying build at the bottom, it says attach the mod. I've already got one of these. So now the exterminator's powerful 10mm pistol is exactly the same as um, the old one. 
Uh, so it's got, you know, all the same things. Except actually I can improve it a little bit. And this has been something I've been meaning to do anyway. So rather than the, uh, the compensator, I've actually been meaning to build a suppressor on it for some time. And now I've finally got the adhesive, the aluminium, the plastic, the screws, everything I need. So I'm going to put a suppressor on this thing. So I've got my first silenced weapon. Oh, yes. Look at that. My exterminator pistol is now also silenced. That is beautiful. I can finally build that flipping sniper barrel for a righteous authority to make it more well, ludicrously more powerful. 44 up to 67, as well as an increase in range and no loss of fire rate. And uh, people have told me, by the way, um, thank you for people who told me, this counts, um, this does count under the rifleman, not the commando perk, because even though it fires pretty fast, um, if I hold down the fire button, it doesn't keep firing, so therefore it's counted as a non-automatic rifle. So thank you for people who told me that. Interestingly, I could kind of turn this into like a laser shotgun using the beam splitter, but I don't want to do that, to be honest. Instead, ooh, I could use the beam focuser to make this into... Uh, yeah, better range, accuracy, and recoil, or the gyro compensating this for superior recoil, reduced range. Now let's go for let's go for some extra range. Let's make this thing a proper, really long range thing. I like this gun more and more all the time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are good for the moment. I've now got my exterminator's powerful 10 millimeter pistol, exactly the same as it ever was, but now does bonus damage to bugs. So if I ever run into a legendary rad roach, this thing could be very useful there. Righteous Authority is looking much better. Oh, look at that. Look at that glowy thing now. That thing now has much better range, much better accuracy. It's kind of halfway to a sniper rifle now, except I'm not going to use it like that. I'm going to use it as like an automatic rifle. Though I could put a scope on it in future if I decide I want to do so. That little submachine gun, the one I got off the legendary down in the vault, I think it's going to now become a secondary little kind of rapid fire weapon. If I ever need a super rapid fire weapon, I can now call on that as well, which is useful. Sniper rifle is the same as it ever was, which is great, but I've slightly improved my pipe revolver rifle. It looks the same and the scope's the same, but I've added a proper stock to it now, so it's uh, more powerful, more accurate, and has longer range as well. And of course, we've now got a furious power fist. If we... Oh! I'm sorry, did I just punch the dog? I'm really sorry! I'm so sorry! I'll never punch with this thing again! Oh, what's a power attack like with this thing? I can do a rebar power fist uppercut! I just want to go and do that. I wish I... No, I'm suddenly wishing I was playing a melee character. Alright, lovely. Yes, I think we have done more than enough for today, and I will pick this up very soon indeed. But ladies and gentlemen, next time we are going to be heading through Nick Valentine's office to have a chat with him. And I think maybe we'll also go and have a chat with Piper as well, because we uh, she asked us to go and visit her in her office, so uh, may as well go and do that too. And we shall see which of those quests takes our fancy. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. It's been many a true nerd, and this has been the glorious Fallout 4. Thank you very much. And goodbye. Haha, -ha, I'm a genius at time. Oh, oh, okay. This escalated quickly. I'd, I'd like to fly your drone. So good about a butterfly in a bucket. What does that tell you about the human condition? Are we the butterfly and is capitalism the bucket? What happens if you go right to the back in time? The very beginning of time. Oh, you literally just burn the universe.